Today at Insomnia 70, it's finally time to hear from the people that are the additional voices. He's performed motion capture from Madden NFL 21 and voice character in Life is Strange 2, Dead Space, and Resident Evil 2. He's the voice of Leon S. Kennedy. It's Nick Apostolini! You've heard her in Geishan, Impact, Horizon, Forbidden West, and multiple Resident Evil games, providing Jill Valentine's vocals. It's Nicole Topkin! It's okay, Jim. Midnight Suns featured her as not just the voice of Lilith, she did motion capture for Magic, and has worked for Back for Blood, God of War Ragnarok, and unsurprisingly, Resident Evil Village. Please give it up for Maggie Robertson! You've heard her as Betty Ross in What If, The Adeptus Squad, Cloud Retainer in Geishin Impact. From Octopath Traveler 2 to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. She's voiced so many characters, but of course you'll know her best, providing the voice of Claire Redfield in Resident Evil Villain, Infinite Darkness. Go nuts for Stephanie Parcello! He's done voice work for Dying Light 2, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Terminator Resistance, and Soul Calibur 6. But to name a few, he has no affiliation with Resident Evil, but you will know him as the voice of Witcher. It's Gerald of Arriva's Alter Ego, Dor Cockle! He's the sultry voice of Asterion in the upcoming Baldur's Gate 3 and has worked on everything from Forza 2, of course, Resident Evil 3 and Village, the one, the only, Neil Newman! <laughs> He's a comedy consultant on multiple AAA titles and we squeezed it in because he voiced his own game. He's done one voiceover for rural dating show Farmer Wants to Wife Australia. Please welcome Mr. Darkroom, John Robertson! Harmonizing these additional voices, please welcome to the stage, we clap! Hello, hello everyone. Oh my goodness, thank you very much for being here. Hello, Insomnia! Hi! Wow, wow, I've like been started and my voice is like, Ugh. hi everybody. What an amazing lineup of talent that we have tonight. Do we have any Resident Evil fans in the audience? Doug and John, I hope that you don't feel too left out. Uh, any Witcher fans? <laughs> Hell yes, and have you seen the dark room? Yes, welcome to Additional Voices. This is part panel show, part improv game show where the points don't matter. Now, this is a live comedy improv show, so just a word of warning, anything can happen. And what do we mean by that? Well, we don't really know, quite frankly. So let's find out in our first game, everyone's a critic. Yay. Yeah, Blair. Hell oh, yeah. All right. Yes, chicken bag. Okay, We're back at my desk. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay, and everyone's a critic. It's very, very simple. We are going to give our lovely cast here a review to read out from one of their games. Now, okay. you guys get extra bonus points if you read it out in the character's voice. Got it? Okay. Got it. That's yep. it. Simple. Okay, so let's start with Nick. If I could have the iPad, that would really help. <laughs> Can we have the iPad, please? Anyone? Can we have the iPad? Can we have the iPad? Oh, we're live. Any yeah. The mics are on, Nick. <laughs> by the way. How are we? Yeah. So I'm a little bit. iPad. Aha! <laughs> Fly. We got the iPad. iPad. Woo! Give down. it up for the iPad! <laughs> okay. Now to figure out where the actual <laughs> things are. Can we have some help, please? Oh, there, we got it, we got it, we got we it. Have okay, iPad, no we're, pressure. guys, we're gonna hand the iPad to the lovely Nick Apotelides. He's going to read it out in one of his, or in his character, Leon Kennedy. There we go. So, okay, Nick, you get bonus points. You don't have to do that. We need to get bonus points. Very good. It's all good. Go okay, it. well, Sir Magnus says, <laughs> as someone who has been playing this game for only four hours, I can confirm that the residents are very evil. That is a very good observation. 
It's a very good observation. I love that. So, Random Magnus, applause. you have a future in observation. <laughs> Random applause, please, for Ned. Yeah! Love it. They are very evil. On a scale of 1 to 10, how evil would you say they are, Nick? 13.5. Nice, like that, like an odd number as well. Um, please pass on the iPad to the lovely Nicole. Okay, Nicole, you Hi. next up. <laughs> okay, what have you got for us, Nicole? <laughs> um, Dr. Cowswitch says, I put Jill in a bikini and my girlfriend left me. Huh. Oh, love it, love it. Round of applause, please, for our, I also for the personally bikini. appreciate this one from Butt, who said, how did only 95% of people make it out of Jill's apartment? <laughs> huh. oh, thank oh. you very much, Nicole. Nicole, everyone, love it. I've got to take a note of the points here. Sorry, points. OK, next up, we've got Maggie here. OK. Yay! Ah! OK, all right, Maggie, give it your best shot. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, look at your name. Well, it has my name on it, so I must be reading this one. Uh, this is from Alpha. I can assure you, I would not do this for my wife and baby daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the baby in there? So, there you go. Thank you very much. Is, are these Maggie. still me? Are you going to read, read another one? Oh, I think, I think I pass yeah. it on. Round of applause pass for Maggie, on. please. Oh, wow. We love Maggie. 10 out of 10. All right, I'm a little right. scared what's going to happen because I have read comments in the past. So, <clears throat> Elise Chapel. This is from Andrew Webster. Andrew Webster, if you are in the audience right now, this is going to be your comment. Um, the fact that the show often resembles a video game sometimes works in its favor. The best moment in Infinite Darkness feels like they were ripped out of a survival horror game. Well, that was actually nice. That was a nice comment. I appreciated that one. Let's see if we're going <laughs> to stay nice. Find the bad one. Uh, well, I don't know. I it's, it's, it's here for me, so let's see. <laughs> Here's a featured review saying, too short, just a cut-up movie. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. This was okay. If, you, if you've seen other Resident Evil animated movies, this won't surprise you. This is basically all it is, a Resident Evil movie cut up into four chunks. If you're truly going to do an RE series, it has to be longer than four episodes. Six at the very minimum. <laughs> Obviously. I don't disagree. More episodes would be nice. Oh, I got one more. I got one more. OK, go for it. Mine are very serious, by the way. All of these are like <laughs> Rotten Tomato stuff. This is from Raphael Motomayer. Even within the major, sorry, <clears throat> Claire. Even within the many non-game adaptations of Resident Evil, this anime signals the start of a new and exciting area, sorry, era for the zombie franchise. Oh, these were sweet. I like these. That last one was brutal, but six episodes, I agree. Here you go. Right of applause to <laughs> Stephanie, please. Right, Doug. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bonus points for Karen. <laughs> go for it, Doug. All right, all right. Um, this is from someone named Milch Chocolat. <laughs> German French, I'm not sure. Uh, all right, and in Gareth's voice, right? You might want to bump the gain up a little bit. <laughs> you can do everything you can't do in real life, like casting magic and talking to girls. <laughs> I think I can do more than that. I'm not sure. Okay, in St. Isabel of Furman. Now, I'm not sure. Some of this is a joke, I think. Right? I'm going to read you the first line, OK? This is long. This is long. <laughs> the first line, I think, kind of sets the tone. Okay. <laughs> I am a 28-year-old nun, <laughs> probably one of the youngest single mothers playing the game. <laughs> Mom, single mother. That can happen. Single mother nun. I like yeah. this. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to expedite it. I am the sole guardian of my gamer son, who is now 12. My son re recently downloaded The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and in less than a week, he had already played for over 20 hours. This was terrible for me, as it was already hard enough for me to spend time with my son, as he is always out for choir practice while I was busy comforting those who bought GTA. The trilogy. 
the definitive edition. So I decided to make a Steam account and get this game to see if I could maybe play alongside him. I loaded into the game, did the tutorial, but I was stuck on what you were supposed to do, much like my son when he accidentally brushed hands with his crush. <laughs> I asked him to help, and he happily showed me how to play the game. Are we still going? Ready? <laughs> I loved it, as it was the best time I had spent with my son since we went to BronyCon with his father, <laughs> my ex-husband, eight years ago. <laughs> this game has ever since brought my son and I closer again since we actually spend time together watching the TV series on Netflix and obsessing over Yennefer to the point of spamming the Witcher Reddit on how Yennefer is better than Siri. This game reminded me that there's fun to be had in everything, and it has brought both me and my son many happy Aww. memories. Oh, now that is sweet. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that is sweet. I think some of it might be a bit of a joke, but who knows? That was so nice. All right, Neil, you're up next. There's what more. have you got we for us? There's more. <laughs> wow. There's more. Crap. It just keeps going. <laughs> oh my God. You don't have to do <laughs> all of it. Yeah. Yes. Right. This is. Uh, we thank you for this additional DLC. <laughs> Oxydurkis. So cheap. This is about Witcher 2, <laughs> Assassin of Kings. Uh, I'm not going to do this in Carol's voice because it just take too long. <laughs> <laughs> Warning before buying this game, too much plot. Not enough killing. <laughs> too much plot. Do you like games with main stories with perfect detailed explanation? Do you want to rush main quests <laughs> like Maniac, like a Maniac to learn what's next? Do you like multiple characters in the main quest with their own stories and desires? Do you want to know who's behind everything? Do you like to get the ability of choosing your character's fate? Are you a hardcore gamer? Play this on the insane difficulty. Do you have a bad PC? Then this <laughs> game is for you. It's really unmissable when on sale it only costs three dollars. Yes, yes, I'm a convert. All right. Wait, there's another one. Oh my God, okay, there's one more, I think. <laughs> CMW Artist, and this is about the Witcher Enhanced Edition. This is Witcher 1, I believe. The first town I visited, I found the inn. Spent all my money on beer, got drunk, staggered around for hours talking to folks, hit on the bar girl, stole stuff, and got into a fight. Sounds about <laughs> right to me. That's a good game. That's That's a good good game. Game. Thank you very much, Doug. Keep going, yeah. Neil? Are you sure? There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you That's got? Great. Do you have a paragraph? Okay, okay. okay this, this is, one. All right, this is good. I hope this is the last one. Pro Cryonic XBLS. I hope that's not rude in some weird bit language. Okay. Played it a bit. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's out. You're out. Neil, Neil Newborn, you it. are up, sir. Okay. I think yeah. we just read all of the Steam all reviews right. for The Witcher there, like every yeah. single one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doug. Okay, okay. I have I have some informative. This is a scientific informative review. Okay. <clears throat> I never knew pouring alcohol on your chopped hand could reattach them. <laughs> Gotta pass medical school now. Thanks, Ori8. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Disclosure that doesn't actually work. So do that. <laughs> if you're tempted or on the fence, it, it absolutely doesn't work. Uh, what else we got? Uh, okay. This is a review for Resident Evil 8, I think. PC crashes while trying to play Detroit Become Human, <laughs> slams keyboard aggressively, RE8's fine, I guess. I think that's a review. <laughs> they segue somehow into one or the other, which is fine, it's great. Something about obeying. Oh yeah, you are a machine, you are designed to obey, so obey. Another great review. Slams keyboard yeah, aggressively. Is that what we've got? Right? The, safe, the safe word is Detroit become human. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, this is from. Okay. All right, this is for Baldur's Gate 3, which I'll do in a Starian's voice, I guess. <clears throat> Hello, D&D, but you don't need to have friends. <laughs> that is the entire review. I love it. It's 25 <laughs> hours long at the very first chapter. There's 120 to go, and that's all they took away from. Do you know what? You don't need to have friends. It's all me. It's all me. It's okay. But I've got no it's friends. all right. It's you fine. don't need them. <laughs> Thank you, right. Neil. Thank That's you very it. much. Uh, is there uh, another one? All right. I'm just, I don't know what that is. This is the user. <laughs> oh, I can read yours out. <laughs> yeah. 
No, that's fine. <laughs> okay, Neil, uh, everyone, round of applause for Neil. Clap for the man. Yeah. yeah. Um, All just, right, John. Hey, uh, uh, just, just before we start, Doug, that was amazing. I love the way your turn <laughs> lasted longer than your entire bloody game. Um, <laughs> Also, uh, also, just quietly, between your voice and my hair, it's very mean of Henry Cavill. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. Now, um, this is a bit of a discovery for me because my game, unlike all of these, made no money, and this is how I found out it got reviewed at all. Hey. So, this is going to be rough. <laughs> cool. <laughs> 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 He's played it for 0 0.4 hours. <laughs> Excellent good fun, and it's always entertaining to get yelled at by Budget Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> this is a review from a man whose username is Tasmanian, which, as many of you are not Australian, uh, I want you to understand his name may as well have been Mr. Inbreeding. <laughs> there we go, give me a high six, gang. Um, <laughs> Entertaining and funny at first, but it becomes boring after five minutes of gameplay. Just cause whatever you do, you die. <laughs> yep, I've been to Tasmania as well, mate. <laughs> oh! That's actually just hurtful. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Give him applause for a cast, please. Also, I've just realized something. I was the only one who actually had not recommended reviews. <laughs> Everyone else had reviews that were happy but a little bit mean. <laughs> and I genuinely got, hate him! Terrible. We, that we would negotiated be, not, our that contracts. That would be Tobin. 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 Well. Tobin. Um, guys, at the end only of that people. round, I'm going to give Doug 100 points. Just because you read out all of the all reviews. Of 100 points for Doug. Okay. Now, our next round is one of my favorites. It's called Evil Interviews, and it's very, very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to get Doug and John to interview for very, very mundane jobs within the world of Resident Evil. And we're going to get the rest of our cast to interview <laughs> them. <laughs> props? Is some professional <laughs> wrestling about to happen? We're going to put you through the table. Um, oh, great. <laughs> Before, before they sit down and we start doing these interviews, we're going to get you guys to shout out suggestions of very mundane jobs, because Doug's going to start. So let's shout out some mundane jobs for me. Beekeeper. Oh. I can't hear a goddamn bloody thing up here. OK, hold on one second. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Customer service, anyone else? Lady D's housemaid. Yes. Oh, oh. Good Lady D's housemaid. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a, it's Can I just? Okay. Sorry, sorry. Like why? Like. Why am I auditioning for a job I've always wanted to have? Yeah. <laughs> Pay me in treading on my face. <laughs> right. Oh, we're meant to keep it family friendly. Uh. Doug, if you would like to take the hot seat, please. Me. Yes, you're yeah. taking the hot seat. Go. I feel like it should be. And we're going free. to get Maggie free. and Neil. Oh, yeah, okay. The rest can stay oh. there. Oh, okay. No, no, rest stay there. Stay. But I live Holy in her shit. house. Shit. Now, here's how it's going to work, okay? Doug is no longer Doug. He is now Geralt of Rivia interviewing for the position of Lady D's housemate. A <laughs> housemate, housemaid, sorry. And we have Lady D and Heisenberg here who are going to interview them. Relax. Okay. This is so comfortable. It's so comfy. I've never been more comfortable. <laughs> so and comfy. he's lost his mic pack. Just I know, it's better. gone. It's the wind. We're, we're ready. So. Ready? Now, at any point, this is, this, is, this is the stinger, okay? At any point, I'm going to mess <laughs> them up by suggesting weird things that they have to incorporate into the interview. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys may start, and I will oh, sorry. suggest yeah, we're things here. to you as we go along. Right. Okay, um, guys, we've got a Geralt here. Um, he's interviewing for a um, position of maid. Go for it. A Heis maid? Heisenberg and oh, uh, Lady Dimitri. Uh, 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 well, seeing uh, as he's supposed uh, to be my maid, okay. I feel that I should ask the first question. Yeah, sure, go knock yourself out. <clears throat> <laughs> Here it comes. Here comes the question. You want you want some, you want some help? No. Okay. <clears throat> so. 
Geralt of Rivia, is it? Mrs. D. It's Lady D to you. It's an honorary title. She doesn't actually, she's not noble or anything. I am noble right. in spirit. <laughs> Have you ever kept house before? Is that what one says? Uh, I think it's a euphemism for something else. But yeah, well, go ahead, sure. Family friendly. Family friendly? <laughs> well, I'll get me started on my family, bunch of freaks. Sorry, you go ahead. Lady D. I have kept house many times. Once, even on a potato farm. Potatoes? Yes, I like spuds. Tell me more about this relationship with spuds. Well, you see, spuds can be made into french fries. They can be made into <laughs> mashed potato. You can put How does one on. mash the potato? He's a shy, retiring type, isn't he? Uh, let's, let's move on from the whole culinary thing. How are you, how are you with the whole uh, polishing handcuff kind of thing? No, I'm not saying I have any. I'm just asking for a friend. If one were to have a big collection of, say, handcuffs or other kind of incarcerating material, how would you be at polishing them? The question, of course, really is, are the handcuffs steel or silver? Oh, uh, uh, rusty, mainly. Well then uh, I suppose I would have to drop them into a small vat of hydrochloric acid. Oh, he knows his stuff. He's really good. Allow you should hire him. The rust He's very, very good. Melt off while the flesh of the rust becomes part of the juice. Nice. Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> Don't seal the deep. Huh? Can you just give us? Give him a Can you right. give me just, a you minute? Just, you, don't, you don't want to negotiate high. You want to go low first, all right? Go low. low I low. know how to negotiate. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> I only dust and lacquer my furniture with the softest of items. What would you use my to feet. dust my furniture? <laughs> <laughs> my feet. What? <laughs> right? I know. Thank you, one guy. One person. Thank you. And Lady D, if you would allow me, I would also. I don't even know what this is. Four feet. Shut up. Sorry. What Sorry. would you use? Sorry. Well, to dust and polish, you see, I would use my feet and your feet. Oh. Woo! Uh, should I give, leave you the room? <laughs> <Should> <laughs> Well, I don't know if I've ever had anyone say that to me before. I think we could be very foot happy. <laughs> well, this is nice and Dear awkward, me. so uh, just if I... I just want you to wrap me up in a baby blanket. <laughs> you do know she's my sister, right? I'm just saying, like, this is getting a little weird now. Oh, uh, well, you, uh, if you're so inclined, you can join us. Okay, so uh, moving <laughs> things along... If I may. Let's back up on that one. <laughs> uh, say, for instance, a, uh, I don't know, out, a guy about town happens to have a small collection of fantastical magical ponies, let's say. Uh, would you be able to, I'm not saying for me, it's a friend, I don't dig this kind of thing. I just, uh, this thing was put in my hand, I don't know what to talk about. Would you be able to braid said ponies, magical or otherwise? Raise them. Uh, braid them, like the hair thing. I mean, again, not asking for my, my friend, it's probably hers. It's <clears throat> yes, I would definitely be able to break your ponies. Uh, uh, not my ponies, you understand, they're a friend of mine. Okay, that's oh, wow. it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's spit them out of their business. <laughs> well, that took a turn. <laughs> as long as they're all named Rose. for Maggie, <laughs> and Doug. I love that, I love that. <laughs> And now Neil knows what a brony is. Um, very important. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning here. Okay, I'm going to ask John to take the hot seat. Thank you. Yep. No uh, worries. I've read that fan fiction, by the way. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Dusting Lady D's furniture. Uh, yeah. yeah. And can we please Dusting have Nick, Nicole, and Stephanie here interviewing? Oh, now, the heroes. John is not going to do this in a character because he's already quite a character, so he doesn't need to. No, I've decided to do it as Geralt as well. Great. 
And he's practically cosplaying as Geralt right now. Biker Geralt, love it. Um, okay, we're gonna give jo uh, John a film genre though. Oh, are we? Oh, yes. thanks. Thank you. So guys, the audience, give me a film genre. Shout Just when out. I thought I couldn't be any wetter. I know, right? <laughs> romance, what did you say? Horror, romance. Do you know what, I like, I like rom-com. Rom-com? Okie dokie, hang on. Let's go rom-com. Rom -com? Yeah, so he's gonna do it in oh. the style of a rom-com. Oh, so terribly sorry. Oh, I've tripped <laughs> over. How charmingly English of me. Ooh, suck my penis. <laughs> Red, oh, gasp, hello. Ha <laughs> ha. Have you smoked anything today? Ah, uh, yes, I certainly have. The embers of my heart. I remember my childhood sweetheart who left me years ago and looks conveniently like all three of you. I have nothing left to lose. I'm certain it was meant to say lose, but they've misspelt it. Every, <laughs> every single part of me is open. Take me. I have one question for you. Yes. You've gone above and beyond to save someone who's literally been ripped in half by a monster. Yes. I once had an occasion where I felt like I'd been ripped in half by a monster. Cheeky fellow. They know. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yes, I am. Yes. I'm not so sure about this guy. Mm. I, I'm um, very, I, very. Uh, oh, no, please. No, no, no. please. No, no listen. Please. No, Jill, seriously. No, Claire. No, Claire, no. Claire, no Jill, really. Like, okay, cool. Okay. Whenever it becomes an <laughs> argument between someone in a velvet top and someone wearing studs, we'll take velvet. Heard. Um, tell me about your scented candle collection, because it's personally incredibly important to me. Mm. My scented candle collection has a great variety of scents. The most famous one is it smells like Gwyneth Paltrow getting a lawsuit for crashing into a man last week. Uh... Topical! Topical! And the amazing thing is when you consider the brand name, when she crashed into him, she turned his brains into goop. <laughs> I like him. You know, what are I'm, we interviewing him for again? I'm still skeptical. So, you know, I believe that onions have layers. You believe that? I do. Not a controversial no, opinion? No, it's not a controversial <laughs> opinion. I think some Hot take, onions. Onions have layers? They do. Now, tell me about the different layers of you. Well, on the outside, I might seem to be a charming, wet Englishman, but. Please understand that on the inside, I cry out to be some form of rock star and not some sort of attention-seeking bastard, as my father calls me. We're not meant to swear, and that's as good as it's going to get. You see, I enjoy rock. That's what it says here. Ah! <laughs> Did it. Well, I'm enjoying this manic energy you've got. It's kind of weird, but I like it. I'm ready to hire you, but we called your last employer, who you were fired with, uh, and they said that you had a pet ant problem. Can you explain that? A pet ant problem? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do have a pet ant problem. He's racist. <laughs> racist towards whom? Well, humans, mostly. Um, he can't, I mean, he's an ant, so he can't see color, but he also, actually, I don't know if that's statistically true. Nevertheless, I would like to crush him as I would like to crush every single racist, but unfortunately, we've just had a sketch about Lady Dimascrew, so crushing is a thing half the audience want to see. So true. <laughs> a third of the audience. Now, Sorry, I overestimated the popularity of your game. Knowing right. that I'm trusting <laughs> you. Ha <laughs> ha, suck it up. Right. <laughs> Knowing that I'm trusting you to keep this so family friendly, I require <laughs> the person to be able to fill this particular role to be a mind reader. So. I read your, hang on. <laughs> uh, I, there's an I. I, 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 I. I'm not getting paid enough <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm right. He's excellent. <laughs> all right, this is by far the most important question, all right? First off, Friends or Seinfeld, and you better answer correctly. That really mattered to one person. <laughs> Seinfeld. Oh! oh what? Oh, yeah. Round of applause! 
Thank you. John, Nick, Nicole, and Stephanie. <laughs> love it. I love it. Really nice. Okay, that was evil interviews and the end of that round. Ah. I'm going to give John 50 points. Okay. Yes, round of applause for John. Very good. Woo! Heck yeah, heck yeah. Okay, now, it wouldn't be a panel show with some, without some audience interaction. So now we're going to hand it over to the audience for a Q&A, but it's a Q&A with a difference, okay? So what we're going to do is we have a roaming mic. Hands up if you have a question. You must direct your question to one cast member only. That cast member can only answer in five words and then anyone else from the cast can step up and curate and uh, make up the answer from those five words. So for example, if one of you asked me how my day was going, I could say sleepy, bed, hungry, busy, insomnia, then Neil might step up and then create an answer from those five words. Have you got it? Well, good. Right, okay, hands up. Who's got a question for one of our cast? Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Right, hands up, right up. I mean, oh, we've got someone here? Okay, yes. My question's for Stephanie. Okay. How tasty did the burger look in Resident Evil 2? Sir, can you, you speak up, because it's hard to hear from here. Go for it. Stephanie, what was that? How tasty was the burger at the start of Resident Evil 2 looking? Ah. Did you hear that, Stephanie? Go yes, I did. Five words, and okay. any one of you can step up at any point. Okay. Gluten-free, <laughs> non-dairy. That's two words, gluten-free. <laughs> gluten-free, non-dairy. <laughs> well, I guess it's hyphenated. We'll take it back. I'll count it as one. Gluten I'll allow free, it. Non-dairy. <laughs> non-dairy, one word. Gluten-free, one word. Hyphen McDonald's, hyphen zombie meat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can anyone want to step up and curate the answer? Oh, hell no. No? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what did she say? Non-dairy McDonald's. Non-dairy McDonald's. What, what was the other one? Zombie McDonald's zombie meat. Zombie, what Stephanie zombie. is trying to say <laughs> is that she is on a strict <laughs> zombie meat diet, given the fact that she is gluten-free and dairy intolerant. And uh, apparently McDonald's, their secret recipe, is in fact zombie meat. So now you know where to go <laughs> for your zombie meat. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Stephanie. Very good. Very good. Can we have another question, please? Oh, we've got someone down here. Hello, my friend. Right, so who's your question for? Nice and loud, please. Um, okay, so my question is for my boy, Nick, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I'm, not, um, I'm not sure if you've seen Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon <laughs> City, but how would you describe Avon Jovia's performance in five words? Remember, you're on camera. <laughs> Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Magic. Non-dairy. <laughs> Gluten-free. <laughs> And Maggie. Oh. <laughs> okay. Does any of our cast want to explain and elaborate? Wait, kaleidoscope, magical, gluten free, non dairy Maggie. Okay. Oh dear God. Neil, I feel uh, like uh, you. Neil, I feel like. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> gluten, non free, what? Okay, fine, I'll, I'll wing it. Uh, so my esteemed friend, Nick Apostolides, is trying to say of this particular actor's performance in Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, that his performance was less than magical, in the same way that gluten-free, it's tasty, but it's not quite the same thing. Uh, Non-dairy is for some people, but not for cows. Uh, and by the way, doesn't Maggie Robertson look incredible today? <laughs> I think that's the essence I may have Paraphrase a little bit, but I believe that's what he was trying to that say. That was exactly <laughs> well, what I was thinking, Neil. Well, <laughs> welcome. That's exactly it. Okay, let's have another question. Let's let's have someone down the front. You look amazing. Damn. So let, let's have a question from you. You look great. Uh, nice and loud, please, so we can hear it. And who is it for? Um, my question's for Nick. Nick again, okay. And um, 
Why is Liam so bad at driving? Why is Liam <laughs> so bad at driving? Five words. Kaleidoscope. Magic. Gluten-free. <laughs> Non-dairy. Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Horrific. <laughs> Tasteless. Meatloaf. Okay. okay. And Claire. I can answer this. Okay. <laughs> What Nick is really trying to say is, had he allowed Claire to really drive the car, then we probably wouldn't have got hit by a truck and gotten back into Rackham City and all of that wouldn't have occurred. Also, side note, Nick completely failed his driving test multiple times over. That was Thank it. you very much, Nick. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. We've got time for one last question. I'm going to let Sam, Sam, you just choose. I don't want to look at the sadness in people's eyes when I don't look at them. <laughs> And don't choose them, I hate it. It's the all on you, it's all on you, Sam. Go for it. One last question. Okay, what, uh, nice and loud and clear, and who's it for, please? So, this is for Nicole. And I want to ask, immediately following the events of RE3, what did Jill get up to? Immediately following the events of RE3, what did Jill get up to? Okay. <laughs> um, add her up. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Go. Wake up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Meditation. <laughs> Long nap. Is this just Nikki or is it Jill? <laughs> is this what Nikki did after RE3's release? <laughs> new plant. <laughs> Wait, new that answers that plant. Question. Meditation. Long nap. Herb <laughs> garden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does anyone want to step in and explain Nicole's answer? Good luck. Uh, I think, to be no, fair, that was a fantastic haiku. <laughs> Meditation. There you go, done, you did done. it. Done, we're good. Done, we're good, well done. Round of applause, please. Okay, well, at the end of that round, that was a haiku. <laughs> I'm no. going to give you <laughs> all 50 <laughs> points. All of you, ah. there are 50 points. 50 points for everyone, please. I'll take it. Excellent, excellent. Currently, Doug is in the lead with 100 points. Uh, yes. Yay, so Doug's Doug. in the lead at the moment, but the points don't matter. So round of applause so far. <laughs> okay. What a great <laughs> now, okay, we have reached our epic finale because every show needs an epic finale. So we're going to ask our wonderful cast to reincarnate their favourite characters, which they've already played, or they can choose someone that they've always wanted to play. So it could be <coughs> Batman. Or it could be other Batmen. Yes. <laughs> I've never forgotten all superheroes. Robert Pattinson's Batman versus Christian Bale's Batman. Go. Um, OK, so John is going to be the narrator of this one. All right. So he's going to set up a famous scene from a famous movie. And then we're going to get our cast to just jump in. And John, I mean, you're in control of this, so you can just start giving people roles. Oh, okay. gosh, I'm scared. So um, oh, first of all, uh, John, do you have a movie in mind that you would like to start with? Uh, yeah, you know, you know what? Let's, let's just do it. Let's do uh, Kill Bill. Kill Bill, all yeah. right, OK. Any, a, a particular scene from Kill Bill? Yeah, I want to see the scene where Uma Thurman kills all the crazy 88s. Excellent. Okay. That's right. right, voice actors. You're going to have to move for the first time in your lives. Right. <laughs> we do hey, performance we do our own stunts, by the way. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Justify training. your art Thank form. You. Yeah, woo. <laughs> now, let's go. Now, there's, this is going to be a bit of a twist. Before we go down the line and ask what each, who each person is going to play, and they have to stick with this character throughout the whole thing, I am going to mess them up by hitting the buzzer at random points and just throwing in new genres, new film genres, random genres, okay? So, but first of all, Nick, who do you want to play throughout this round? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah! <laughs> he was looking at me like this, and I was like, I know, I know, I can feel it. I'm feeling that <laughs> big, big Schwarzenegger energy coming from over here. <laughs> uh, Nicole, what about you? I want to play Nemesis. Hell. What? Yes. yes! What? Yes! What? I was. <sighs> you and I have to have words after. Do you want to? <laughs> I want to play Nemesis. Nemesis. All right, All right, Maggie, what about you? We'll do it together? Yeah. All right, we're going to do a duo. We're doing Nemesis. We're doing okay. a duo. I'll allow no. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, that. No. No, that's up. not allowed. <laughs> oh. Never mind, I'll allow it. This <laughs> works. Totally works. It works. Right. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. 
Okay, oh. Maggie, have you, have you thought of a character? This is not going to hold that doesn't <laughs> Okay, hold it. Health and safety. Health and safety. Health and safety. <laughs> Health and safety. <laughs> Maggie, I what, what are you going to play? Uh, <laughs> Shep, what are you doing? He's doing great. Right. Jennifer Coolidge. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge, I'm going to go up. Stephanie. I'm going to be Schmeagol. Schmeagol. OK, Doug, what about you? Uh, I think I'm going to go for a bit of a, I think I'll be a bit of a Christopher Walken. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. OK, so um, we're going to go for Kill Bill. Uh, <laughs> I instantly regret our choice. Sorry, Let's carry on. Let's start Kill Bill off as a Disney film. Go. As a, it's, Disney film. as a Disney film? Right. So, John, it is, rating. It's simply the most magical day somewhere in the middle of Japan. <laughs> and vengeful mother Uma Thurman, who is curiously the size of two people stacked on top of each other. <laughs> All right, wait, 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 Soon, a number of delightful woodland creatures appear. <laughs> oh. I got you go on the bottom. Oh, I'm a squirrel. Oh. Oh. OK, we're going to do a Big Brother style narrator. This is Big Brother. We're in the Big Brother house. Big now. Brother? Brother. All right. It's confession time in the Big Brother house. Oh. I love the way you, you presumed that was for you. Stand over there. <laughs> Enjoy your lower back pain. You're over 40. Thank you. Right. Oh! And Oren Ishii has come to make a confession. So painful. Step into the diary room, Oren. Oh, oh master. Oh, I... Yeah, I'll take a seat. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but it would appear that housemate Arnold Schwarzenegger has come on in. Yeah, look at the arms of this girl. Yeah. Along with housemate Jennifer. Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're doing it. In oh, yeah, are we still doing Kill Bill? Shakespeare. 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 Okay. Yeah, oh. Shakespeare. oh, guys, if you could do Shakespeare, you'd have kept that up as your original line of work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I earn less money than you people. Right. <laughs> okay. Jennifer Coolidge, as Oren Ishii, delivers a monologue in perfect iambic pentameter. <laughs> job, for job. Um, indicating that soon Uma oh. Thurman, who has gotten weirdly short for some reason, <laughs> okay. will be dead. Whoa, here we go. Shall I compare these to a summer's day? Very good. I confess I <laughs> don't remember the moment. plot of Kill Bill that well. Fortunately, all of the gaps in iambic pentameter can be but filled uh, with weird Christopher Walken noises. So every uh, time you pause... Uh, well, hey, thou hast done bad things, I think <laughs> thou hast. Now we're putting it in thou the style of a musical. And oh, God, no! Oh, sorry, go on. Okay. Musical, let's go. Kick us off. You look like a zombie! What's a nigga solo? Where an Abercrombie! Christopher Walken sings an aria! We're going to do it in the style of a silent movie. Oh, thank God. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Slapstick. I've always wanted to see oh, Christopher oh, Walken. And that wasn't? <laughs> <laughs> Slapstick, My let's breath. go. Slapstick. She nearly died. <laughs> For your entertainment, are you not entertained? <laughs> okay. Fine, a little bit of slapstick. Hey, Arnold, give us a punch. Hey, yes. Oh. There <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That's it. Over. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Stice, not well me. Done. Well done. <laughs> Wow. Everyone back to your seat. <laughs> Everyone Great job, everybody. Ah. Great oh job, guys. Oh, my God, Neil. Well done. Was, <laughs> was it worth it? Weekend. <laughs> Everyone back to your seat. Well done. Well done. Well done. Bloody hell. Right, OK, <laughs> at the end of that round, well, you know, 
as you know, the points don't really matter in this game, but they do because we do need a winner. Um, so I'm going to say all of these guys are winners today. Yay! Uh, yay! All of these guys are winners. <laughs> Can we please have a huge, massive round of applause before I wrap up? Huge, massive round of applause for our cast. Well done. And please well done. give us a whip and a cheer <laughs> if you enjoyed it today. Yeah. <laughs> I would really like to thank you guys for coming along and being part of this. This is the very first time we've done this, so thank you very, very much. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you all at Insomnia throughout the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, where these guys will also be here as well. And John's doing his dark room tonight. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Uh, folks, so if, if I could just quickly do this, if you do want to come and see a live action video game comedy show tomorrow night at 8 p.m., all of the profits from the ticket sales are going to special affect the Disabled Gamers charity. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, John. Okay, oh, let's really say good goodbye good. one last time. Okay, John, come and say, take the floor and say goodbyes. John oh, Robinson. Thanks, yeah. thanks. thanks. It's fun. There he is. And we've got the wonderful Neil Nerba. Heck yeah. I love him to bits. It's Doug Cockle. Woo! Thank you, Doug. Look at her, absolutely gorgeous. It's Stephanie Panicello! <laughs> One of my favorite goofballs on the planet is Maggie Robertson! Oh, <laughs> She's absolutely friggin' fantastic. It's Nicole Topkin! <laughs> Last but not least, it's the wonderful Nick Abbasolide! And I'll come out here. Thank you very, very much, you guys, for being at Insomnia 70. And thank you very much for, to Insomnia for letting us play on stage. My name is Wee Claire. You're all fantastic. This is Gilbert. Good night. Yeah.